Hi and welcome to Fun Swedish. We received a lot of comments asking to know more about your favorite Swedish artists. So we decided to make a video about some fun facts about them. Just for you, our dear followers. Plus, we think it can be a great way to learn Swedish. Because learning is always easier when it's fun. So who knows? Maybe you get inspired to listen to some Swedish songs. And if you didn't know these artists, then it can be a suggestion from your fellow followers. We have chosen the most requested ones. Let's start with Lale. Lale is a multi-award winning singer and songwriter. Her music style is a mix between pop, rock and perhaps folk. She sings in both English and Swedish and some of her most famous songs are some Die Young, Live Tomorrow, and Bara för var mig själv. Let's learn some Swedish words from her song Bara för vara mig själv. The song's title can be translated to something like Just be allowed to be myself. And this song is basically about that, permitting yourself to be yourself. Not taking bullshit from other people and not hiding your true thoughts and feelings. In this song she has lines like För idag ska de höra sanningen Because today they will hear the truth Jag ska aldrig ta skit igen I will never take shit again Jag ska bara vara mig själv I will just be myself Ba ba bara få vara mig själv Just, just, just be allowed to be myself This ba is slang and is the short version of bara which in this case means just. Some interesting facts about Lale. She was born in Iran and moved to Sweden when she was 10 years old. Many of her songs are about her upbringings, both some happy and some sad memories. One of the biggest tragedies in her life was when she witnesses her dad die. That happened when he tried to rescue a woman from drowning. His selfless act was on the Swedish news back then, and several thousand people showed up to his funeral. More about Lale. She speaks several languages. Svenska, Engelska, Ryska, Tyska och Persiska. Lale is also an actress. She had a role in a popular Swedish comedy called Yalla Yalla, which is also a great option to learn Swedish. Let's move on to our next artist, Sabaton. So many of you requested something about Sabaton. It was actually the most requested band on the list. So to all metal fans out there, let's talk about Sabaton. Sabaton is a Swedish band from the city of Falun. And Falun is in the area of Dalarna, a great place to visit if you want to see all these cute Swedish red houses and also the birthplace of many great Swedish bands. Sabaton songs are about historical wars and battles, about dying in the battlefield and fighting for your country, but also about all the dark sides of war. Some of their most famous songs are Bismarck, The Last Stand and Carolus Rex. This song, Carolus Rex, is about the Swedish king Karl den Tolfte also known as the king of war. From a time that Swedish went through a phase and wanted to conquer everything. Let's translate some parts of the Swedish version of the song Karelis Rex. Över Norden jag härskar, over the Nordics I rule, med det arv jag gavs, with the legacy I was given. Gång på gång sjung Karelis song, over and over sing Karelis song. Krigets konst jag behärskar. The art of war I master. Låt mitt namn sprida skräck. Let my name spread fear. Some interesting facts about Sabaton. The name Sabaton actually means this part of the armor that covers the foot. Another interesting fact is that they sing about war because some of the band members are really history nerds and especially fascinated about the Second World War. But they also say that they sing about war because it went really well with the music style that they liked. Many of their songs have two versions, one in English and one in Swedish, which makes them a perfect choice to learn some Swedish with some music. They are also good friends with the Swedish band Hammerfall, a band that sings about Vikings. Our next band, Kent. K 
Kent is a bit like the Swedish Radiohead. It's a love it or hate it band, since most of their songs are a little bit depressing. Perfect for that stage in life when you are an angsty Swedish teenager, but with a lot of focus in Swedish and about Swedish culture. So mixing these two things, you can expect a lot of songs about Swedish winter, the cold and the darkness. So they have lines such as Ge dem ett finger och värm min hand. Give them a finger and warm my hand. I ett iskallt Ikea land. In an ice cold Ikea land. It's really difficult to read these lines without singing them myself. But after this video you can check out these songs on YouTube. Anyway, Kent are heavy on the metaphors. So it's a great band for the more intermediate and advanced of you. But they have also love songs such as Utan dina andetag, Without your breath, which is a very popular song to play on Swedish weddings. Here's a line from it. Jag kan inte ens gå utan din luft i mina lungor. I can't even walk without your air in my lungs. Jag kan inte ens stå när du inte ser på. I can't even stand when you don't look at me. So you can see why it's so popular among weddings. Some interesting fun facts about Kent. They were active until 2016 when they announced their final tour, for which they sold about 300,000 tickets, which for Nordic standards is pretty big. On a personal note, I once forced a friend of mine to go together with me to a Kent concert. She really didn't want to go, and she said to me in Swedish, Nej, de sjunger bara om döden. Jag blir deppig. Which means, no, they only sing about death. I get depressed. But it was in the end, at this depressive concert, that she met her now husband. So she doesn't regret going at all. And also, I have another friend that is active in a Kent themed choir, where they only sing Kent songs. And if you ever want to join a choir that sings in Swedish, then you should buy our video courses. Our beginner's video course focuses a lot on pronunciation, so you don't embarrass yourself when you want to audition to this Swedish choir, or if you want to impress some Swedes at the karaoke night. The link to our video courses are up here and in the description below. Okay, so let's move on to some more pop rock music. Our next band is Gyllene Tider. So much to say about this band, but let's start with their name. Gyllene Tider means golden times. And this band had their golden times in the 80s, but is still very popular among all ages in Sweden. If you're throwing a party and want the Swedes to dance, then you should definitely put on some Gyllene Tider. And I can guarantee that everyone will dance, from teenagers to grandmas. And they have created Swedish classics like Sommartider, hey, hey, Sommartider. I would say that this is the most played Swedish summer song, in which they sing Sommartider, hey, hey, sommartider. Summertime, hi, hi, summertime. Ge mig din hunger, ge mig din hand. Give me your hunger, give me your hand. Ge mig allt du vill och allt du kan. Give me all you want and all you can. Läppa mot läppar, två hjärtan i brand. Lips against lips, two hearts that burn. Som ger sommartider till varann. That gives summertime to each other. Another very popular one that makes Swedes think about the first high school crush is När två blir en, when two become one. In general, Jelena Tide are really good if you want to practice Swedish, since most of their songs are in Swedish. Some interesting facts about Jelena Tide is that their frontman, Per Gessle, was also the frontman of a much bigger band called Roxette together with Marie Fredriksson. And together they have made many famous songs such as It Must Have Been Love that was part of the soundtrack of Pretty Woman. And it was mostly thanks to Roxette that Per Gessle became one of the richest Swedish artists. But despite of his success, he seems to be quite ordinary and down to earth. I have actually seen him twice here in Stockholm, walking around and doing ordinary stuff such as buying toilet papers at Ica. Moving on, Let's talk about the next artist that you requested, Molly Sandén. She's a singer and a songwriter with a great voice. Molly Sandén has been bullied for her weight, 
not only during high school, but also in the beginning of her career. Hearing things like, you need to lose some weight in order to become a star. Her Swedish song, Dom ska veta, They shall know, is about that. The song has lines such as, Bruka säga lilla gumman. They used to tell me, sweetie. But in this case, it's not a nice sweetie. This phrase, lilla gumman, is sometimes used as a condescending way of saying sweetie. And the song continues. Att jag borde vara tacksam, borde vara tacksam. That I should be thankful, should be thankful. Men det var innan jag fick svälta. But that was before I had to starve. Another famous Swedish song that she has written is Det bästa kanske inte hänt än. The best perhaps hasn't happened yet. Some interesting fun facts about Molly Sandén is that she is now an ambassador for a very respected anti-bullying organization here in Sweden called Friends. In the film The Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of the Fire Saga, when Rachel McAdams sings, it's actually the voice of Molly Sandén. Her song Husavik from the Eurovision movie was nominated for Best Original Song at the Oscars. Molly Sandén is also famous for having played in the same band as the Swedish singer Sara Larsson and for dating Donny Saucedo and Erik Sade, two popular Swedish male singers. Which is a perfect transition to talk about Erik Sade, another singer that you requested. Apart from having been together with Molly Sandén, he is also popular for his song Popular, a song about being popular. This song represented Sweden in Eurovision 2011, where it ended up in third place. Erik Sade comes from Helsingborg, the Skåne region in the south of Sweden, where they have this cute dialect that sounds like this. Next artist that you requested, Benjamin Ingrosso. Benjamin Ingrosso is a singer, TV personality and part of the famous Valgren Ingrosso family. For those who doesn't know, the Valgren Ingrossos are one of the biggest families here in Sweden in show business. Benjamin's mom is Penilla Valgren, a very famous Swedish singer. And his dad is Emilio Ingrosso, a famous dancer. And his sister, Bianca Ingrosso, is one of the biggest influencers and bloggers in Sweden. And Benjamin's cousin is Sebastian Ingrosso from the internationally famous techno band Swedish House Mafia. And it doesn't end there. Benjamin's grandmother, Kristina Scholin, was a very famous Swedish actress who worked together with the famous filmmaker Ingmar Bergman. As you can see, this family is very big in show business here in Sweden. So you can say that Benjamin has music, acting and dancing in his veins. Unfortunately, just like Erik Sade, Benjamin sings mostly in English, so you won't learn so much Swedish from his songs. However, it's really important that you know that they exist, so you won't be totally clueless if Swedes starts talking about them during some fika breaks at work. Then we have come to the final artist that you asked us about, Veronica Maggio. Famous for her Swedish songs Satan i gatan, Satan on the street, and Mondags barn, Monday child, among many other songs. I really recommend you to listen to her if you want to learn more Swedish. We will now look at some lines from her song Satan i gatan, a song about running into your ex. Men jag glömmer aldrig bort vad du gjort, but I never forget what you did. Du kan gråta mitt på gatan. You can cry in the middle of the street. Du får passa dig som satan. You should watch out like hell. An interesting fact about Veronica Maggio is that her father is Italian and she lived in Italy for some years when she was a child. She's also the first Swedish singing artist with more than 1 billion reproductions in Spotify. She has also written songs for other artists such as Hey Brother for Avicii. So that was it. Is there any other artist that you want us to make a video about? Or is there any Swedish song you want us to translate completely and make a whole video about? Let us know in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. Hej då!